YouTube. Okay, we're here. Surrogacy. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Are you ready to meet your parents? Are you? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> There we can see. Is it a problem? Is it an issue? Yep. All right. That's all you wanted to hear. Goodbye. Now for the people who want to hear me explain. <laughs> uh, the reason it's wrong. Here, here's my first. I'll give you my basis. One, um, surrogacy is procreative, right? That means that the sexual act is to perform and bring a child. It is not unitive, though. What does that mean? Unitive? Meaning that it does not bring the couple closer together or closer to God by any means. Because the person on the other side who had this child is no closer to the couple at all, right? They're no closer to the man who ever stimulated whichever man it was, whatever, how they did it. They, that woman and that man are not any closer together. They didn't do this as a couple. They didn't do this. They didn't get any closer to God. The woman's completely out of the picture. And also, because the reason I say that, because first of all, if this had not been a gay couple, right? This had been a couple, which was a man and a woman, and they this this exact same thing, this exact same surrogacy, I still be against it, because once again, maybe the man impregnated the woman, and it was procreative, okay, but it was also not unitive, because they did not bring that man and that woman who had the baby closer to God or closer to the other, because they're not a couple, they're nothing, they're, they're not part of anything. They simply pro procreated outside of the intimacy between a man and woman who is married they just created this this baby um unnaturally Does that makes it it's natural but it's not natural it's not the way it would normally go okay so with that basis the other route we've got to go is that some people will find this selfish some people will say that you you shouldn't be able to do this it's it's kind of like having your cake and eat it too and I know that sounds a little harsh, but I'm just being honest. It's like if you want, if you're a gay couple and you want to, and you can't have children naturally, don't you think it's somewhat selfish that you chose that life? You did choose to get with a, another person of the same sex, and now y'all can't have a child naturally. So why do you get to have your cake and eat it too, to impregnate a woman, to go through the whole having birth um, process, and bam, now you got a baby as if you really had one. You didn't. You want your cake and eat it too. You just want it all. You just want it all, okay? I'm always going to take a child if it's completely possible to be raised by a man and a woman, not two men, not two women. Having a mother and father in that relationship between a man and a woman is so important for a child to see. The child can have two gay parents. I understand that. And yes, there's going to be some outliers and some kids that grow up great, amazing, right? But there's still that dynamic that you don't get that you would get with a mother and father, right? And you have to assume that this couple even stays together. And it's going to be even more difficult if the couple was gay and they break up or divorce. Right? You have to explain that to this young man, this young woman. It's just it's just a concept that I'm just... <clears throat> I'm just against, man. I'm just... I'm always going to be for the most natural way possible. But also, just when it comes to surrogacy, these people who use this stuff now... Even people who can have children use surrogacy because they don't want to change the way their body looks. Um, they don't want to have to go through the labor. They don't want to have to go through the sacrifice. They don't want to have to go through the pain. 
Now, guys, and I want to say this. This is obviously different from adoption. It's a lot different. It's a lot different. If you're trying to adopt a child, right, and the mother just gives it up so the child will have no parents, zero, unless somebody was adopted, right? But surrogacy means the whole purpose was for this to happen. The whole purpose of me giving my sperm to a woman that I'm never going to be with and to have a baby. That was the whole purpose. So at all times, the baby was going to have a parent, right? I made this happen without it being within the confines of a marriage. That's not right. It's a completely different when the mother says, I don't want the kid and gives it up. And now the kid would have nothing unless somebody came and adopted it. It's completely different. I hope you understand that. And I think most rational people think that. Um, but people who keep doing the surrogacy because some women, they don't want to ruin their body. Some people don't want to ha have the nine months. They don't want to, like I said, have the sacrifice. They don't want the pain. They don't want any of that. They just want another kid to have another kid. That's selfish, buddy. Don't care how you call that. Just having a kid, just to have a kid for no reason, taking the kid from his natural born mother just to have another child, just to be like, I want it for and I couldn't, I didn't want to get another one. Maybe because you were too old or whatnot. If you're too old, then it's over, buddy. It's over. If, you, if, you, if you're too old to have a child, that's when you stop. You don't just get to keep going because you, you, you just want to have a baby. No, it's over. Quit having, quit, quit being so selfish and be like, I just want a child to have one. No, why can't we just keep children within the confines of adoption when something happens or something, you know, something either tragic happens or the parent just gives it up and there's foster care. But there's also cases where you, you just have a child naturally and do the best you can. I go through that. I'm a man who goes through that. I, I, I had a child and he's gone now. I lost my child. You don't think I want another kid? Of course I do. And it's hard. It's hard to go through this. You don't think days don't go by that hurt me that I, I think about my, my baby boy? Of course I think about him. My firstborn son, of course I think about him every day. You don't think I wish he was running around here, me and him having a good time and going through the sacrifices and waking up early and all that kind of stuff, taking care of my son? Those days are gone. And it's sad. But I'm not going to go to the place where I'm going to go to Syracuse just because I want a kid. Just because it's hard for me and my wife to have a child. Just because life is tough. And if it push comes to shove, of course I would go to adoption. If there was a kid who needed a parent, I'd do that. But at the same time, I'm still trying with my wife. I'm not just going to give up until you, there's just nothing we can do. But it's a scary thing and it sucks. And I'm not the only person who's lost a child. Plenty of people have lost their children. Tragedies happen in this world. You don't just get the bypass and be like, well, this, no, this world isn't fair. I, I want to do whatever I want to do. I got to do whatever I say I want to do. No. If you want to be a true person who accepts this life for what it truly is, you got to accept the good, the bad, and the very disgusting and the very ugly that comes with all of this life and all the pain and all the tears and all the blood, man. It's just a hard life for people. It is. But you can make a difference. By doing something else, keep it within your marriage or adoption if that's possible. But please, and when you do this adoption for a child, don't be just thinking, oh, I just want to have a kid. You got to be thinking to yourself, I want to be building a family and this child needs me. That's completely different. Let me try and think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here. Peace.